Okay friends, uh, now let us talk about isozymes. Now what are isozymes actually? Isozymes are enzymes with slightly different subunit uh, contents. Okay, So <coughs> as you can see, uh, there are, uh, uh, for example, we take an enzyme which is mammalian lactate dehydrogenase or LDH which, which, uh, which exists as five different isozymes in, in mammalian body. <laughs> And why they are differing in all this uh, at all? Because uh, these enzymes need to function in many different places. Sometimes they need to function in liver, sometimes they need to function in muscle cells, then white cells, then brain cells, then red blood cells, kidney and heart. So there are different cells, different types of cells because the cell of liver is totally different than the cell of brain. Cell of our red blood cell is different than our cell of our muscles. So they are destined to do different types of work. They are destined to do different, uh, different uh, specialized purposes and they are uh, they are placed in different organization of cell. So that's why uh, for for the activity uh, that lactate de dehydrogenase to show in different different cells, uh, it is varying from one place to another place. For example, in 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 heart and and in his liver, this this cell need this lactate dehydrogenase need to produce something uh, some different kind of enzymatic subunit arrangement because in in heart they need to do different types of work rather than uh, in, uh, in brain. So when when it presents in brain, it need to do different work, uh, different sets of or or the activity or or the amount of activity it needs to show is varying. Not actually different type of work because an enzyme is destined to do a particular job too, but still. <coughs> this lactate dehydrogenase uh, so actually there are different uh, tissues express different isozymes forms because of uh, it actually favors that that uh, that cell lining to to work properly that's the basic part actually i think okay so uh, so as we can see in this case this lactate dehydrogenase is actually uh, showing five different forms so uh, it actually based on two different types of units so, uh, one is the A another one is the B so if we arrange four A subunits we make a, a, a homo tetramer and this is this can be found in liver so you can find this A4 in liver now we also find uh, the homo tetramer made up with only B unit uh, B type of uh, unit and we can find it in heart so both of them functions uh, on their own manner okay now we can find different types of mixed arrangement like uh, 3A, uh, 1B, we can have uh, it in muscle, we can have 2A, 2B, we can have it in white cells, brains and all these uh, cases, we can have 1A, 3B, we can also find in kidney. So there are there are different parts are like that. Not only one type of, one each type of uh, say uh, uh, lactate dehydrogenase are found, but also the mixture of all these things. So if we look at the liver, then we can find mostly a fourth type of uh, isozyme and we have few A3 uh, B type of isozymes in liver that's the case if we look at uh, uh, this kidney then you can have a mixture of B4 uh, A B, B3 as well as A2 B2 okay if we look at brain we have much more A2 B2 and A B3 if we look at uh, white blood cells, we, we do not have any kind of species like A4, A3, B or something like that. We only have A2 and B2. So it's a homodimer arrangement in this case as we can see. So 2A and 2B arranges themselves uh, in case of the white blood cells. So it's actually depending upon the type of function they need to do, depending upon the efficiency they need to function inside the cell, uh, it actually varies. Okay. By regulating the relative amounts of A and B subunits, they, they synthesize different types of uh, isozymes. The cell of various tissue control which isozyme forms are likely to assemble and thus which kinetic parameters they prefer. That's a very important point. So the kinetic parameter will also change depending upon the change of isozymes. So other things are remains the same because the enzyme functions uh, as, as it, uh, it, it generally functions. But still what varies is the kinetic parameters which are incorporated with the enzyme. Because as we are varying the subunits, we are varying the different kinetic parameters. The effectivity, the affinity with the substrate and the productivity and all these things will be varied. And it is, it is uh, depending on the demand it is actually needed okay for example in muscle cells we need to do it differently in heart cell we need to do it a little bit more differently in brain we need to do some differently so in different manner so that's why it's actually varying so that's the basic part and this is an example of lactate dehydrogenase that we have seen uh, for having different uh, structure uh, relation of this uh, subunit and uh, is this subunit arrangement is tightly controlled by uh, the cell and type of cell we are in okay so that's it and I hope that's going to help you. Thank you.